Hi everyone, how are you? Guess what? I made a Zadie jumpsuit! Yay! Finally! Tick! <laughs> it's in the wardrobe and not just on the plans list. I'm very happy, very very happy and I want to say thank you to everybody who voted. Um, I kind of had an inkling about which fabric I wanted to use um, but you came up with some very good suggestions that I had not thought of um, such as using the check fabric on the jumpsuit might be a bit tricky when it came to the crossover parts and pattern matching and that kind of thing. So anyway I decided to go for this beautiful uh, tent cell fabric that I got from Pigeon Wishes and yeah here it is it's finished. I will give you a full twirl at the end of course but I'll just stand up and give you a little bit of a closer view. Um, so yeah here we go it's got the lovely sorry you can see my microphone wire but it's got the ties here and the lovely big pockets and yeah it's a bit booby I'm not used to uh, I'm not used to being quite this booby but you know what I really like it anyway <laughs> let me tell you all the details so I made a straight size 12 um, I had read a lot about the adjustments that people had made before I decided and I was pretty sure I needed to size down which I did um, and I made a one centimeter reduction in the rise um, obviously front and back um, and I think that's worked out pretty well I didn't want to shorten it too much because I was conscious that you know you still need to be able to slip it on and off your shoulders so you need a bit of wiggle room down there um, but the one centimeter seems fine um, the other thing I did was the sleeves so you can either make this with no sleeve piece at all where it, and it will finish about here or there's a pattern piece for a three-quarter length sleeve and I just decided to go somewhere in the middle so I've ended up with this sort of elbow length sleeve which I'm very happy with um, yeah I really like it um, I wasn't sure about wearing a jumpsuit as I've shared with you before I've never had a jumpsuit before I've definitely never made one I can't even remember having one when I was a kid or when I was a teenager um, so yeah it is a whole new silhouette for me and I love it I will definitely make some more <laughs> so what can I say if you're on the fence give it a go you know I, it's been on my list for well it's on my make nine for this year so it's definitely been on my list since January and even longer than that really um, yeah I'm a convert I can see why everyone loves it and raves about it and I really like it um, you might have seen if you've watched um, some of the other wonderful vloggers videos that I had a very busy Friday and I went on a sort of fabric shopping road trip to Birmingham um, with some other fabulous ladies and I wore this um, I wasn't sure about wearing it I did almost swap it for my black nail dress but I thought no go with it and I actually felt really comfortable all day I didn't feel awkward um, and I, I felt great so yeah big tick I love it make one <laughs> Uh, okay so oh yes so obviously this has now been my entry for so fruity and we're calling this rusty apple um, so recreate the look and as you'll see from the pictures I've put in uh, I've tried to kind of style it and base my um, photos on the pattern image for the Zadie jumpsuit itself has a really gorgeous glamorous lady in the kitchen and she's got a nice cuppa and she's just looking really cool and chic in her jumpsuit uh, so <laughs> I tried to do a bit of that so that's for so recreate the look and also for so blood pressure 24 which was sewing something that's been on your plans for a while and yeah well we definitely know that it meets that criteria so I've entered it into all three of those challenges um, I'll let you know 
how I get on. I think it'll probably be a week or so before they announce the results because there was a lot of entries. Um, but yeah, it's done. So what else can I tell you about? I've had a really wonderful weekend. Um, I've had a long weekend, so I'm filming this on Monday late afternoon. I booked Friday off work and I booked Monday off work. So I've had nice four days off. It was quite funny actually because my husband said to me, end of the week before last, shall we book Friday off and do something together? And I said, oh, that's a good idea. So I logged into my HR system at work, tried to book Friday off and it kept throwing up an error and it wouldn't let me book the day off. And I couldn't understand what was going on. Anyway, I looked in my calendar and I'd already booked the day off. <laughs> and so then I was thinking, oh gosh, what, is there something I'm supposed to be doing? Why have I booked the day off? I mean, it's great because now I can say to him, yeah, let's do, let's have a day out, let's do whatever. But I had this niggling feeling in the back of my mind, like well, I must be supposed to be doing something. Otherwise, why would I have booked the day off? It's not the school holidays. Nobody's got an appointment. <laughs> anyway, a couple of days later, I've got a message from Sarah, from So Sarah Style, saying, hi, Ruth, are you still coming to Birmingham on Friday? <laughs> and then it clicked, I was like, oh, that's why I booked the day off. So anyway, long story short, I had a great day on Friday, went to Birmingham, um, went to the rag market and went to Barry's, first time doing both. Um, so yeah. That was fun. The other ladies were all very, very professional and had great big suitcases with them that they filled with lots of lovely fabric. Yeah, I was not quite so enthusiastic, let's say, about the finds. And um, there was some really lovely stuff, but I haven't got room for loads of fabric in my stash and I've become quite choosy lately. Um, so I only got a couple of bits, but I'm gonna share them with you. So I didn't take a great big suitcase. Instead, I took my trusty Pigeon Wishes bag um, that I got from Stitch Festival. Actually, this fabric came in it. Um, so I bought two things. I didn't buy anything at all from the outside stalls at the rag market. There wasn't really anything that floated my boat. Um, but on the inside stalls, I did find this. So it's quite a lightweight drapey cotton. Um, and as you can see, it's this really nice, sort of, I don't know what kind of blue that is. Here we go again. I'm not very good with colors. We remember this, don't we? But anyway, it kind of gave me Merchant and Mills Indian cotton kind of vibes. Um, it's a bit drapier than that, I think, but it's a really nice color. And I wanted three meters. It was three pounds a meter. And he had about three and a half meters on the roll. So I had all of that for 10 pounds. So that was a bargain. And I might actually make another Zadie jumpsuit out of this. It's all cut out at the top of the pile. So why not? So that was purchase number one. And then purchase number two was from Barry's. Um, it's a great shop, but if you've never been, I definitely recommend going because it's like a Aladdin's cave full of all kinds of stuff. Um, but again, I just couldn't really find anything that was screaming by me. <laughs> so what I did buy was some very, very bright fuchsia pink cotton linen. And I have a plan for this. I know I said I wasn't going to make another one, but I think I'm gonna try that Juliana Marta Jeeves Gloria blouse again. I'm really sad that the other one didn't work out. And the more and more I think about it, I'm thinking it must be me. I must have done something wrong to make it such an odd shape. Um, so I'm gonna try and give it another go. So I wanted something that wasn't too expensive um, but it was nice enough that if it did work this time, I'd have a nice shirt to wear. So I bought this. Um, two meters of that cost me, um, well, it was 7 95 a meter, so it was 15 pounds and 90 pence. So that's not too bad, is it? 
if it works out. If it doesn't, then I've wasted 15 quid. <laughs> but anyway, that was it. That was my entire purchases from my shopping day in Birmingham. I didn't even buy any thread or zips or notions or anything. Um, after shop our shopping, we went for dinner at the Ivy, which was wonderful. The food was amazing. I'll pop some pictures in because I was that sad person who took photos of my food in the Ivy. <laughs> but it was too nice not to share. I was sending the pictures to my husband while we were in there. Oh, yeah, so good. And quite a good price as well. They had a set menu. You could have two courses for £20. And if you wanted to add a dessert on, it was only an extra fiver. So, bargain. So, yeah, that was Friday. Saturday... Oh my goodness, Saturday was a write-off. <laughs> um, a new restaurant has opened near to us in Telford. Um, my husband's been wanting to go for a couple of weeks, but it's been fully booked and we've not been able to get in. But he managed to get us a lunchtime slot on Saturday. And it's a restaurant called Umami. I think that's how you say it. And it's an um, all-you-can-eat world buffet. Well... <laughs> I went a bit too far on the buffet. I was trying to keep up with my husband and my son who can eat a lot. And yeah, I just shouldn't have because um, I spent the afternoon in quite severe agony. I had to go to bed and sleep it off. <laughs> it was like I, was, I felt food drunk. Um, yeah, so anyway, I won't be doing that again. Um, Sunday I had suitably recovered enough to go for a nice walk. Um, so me and Neil went to a lovely place called Coma Woods, which is near Bridge North in Shropshire. And we had a nice walk. I think it was about just over four and a half miles. Um, it was perfect weather. It wasn't too hot. It was quite overcast, but not cold. Um, so that was really, really nice. We didn't take Frank with us. He can't really walk that far. Um, about half an hour is his limit really. So yeah, we'd, we'd already taken him out for a walk in the morning and then went for another walk in the afternoon so that was quite a, a full on hectic walking day which is probably a good idea after all the calories I had on Saturday. <laughs> uh, so yeah that was Saturday, uh, no that was Sunday. Today is Monday and Neil and I have been to Shrewsbury, uh, we've been out for lunch, not an indulgent lunch this time, just a nice respectful, reasonable sized lunch <laughs> and coffee and of course I had to pop to Abercorn's while we were in Shrewsbury. They have a sale on at the moment so they've got 15% off absolutely everything and some items are as high as up to 70% off so I thought I've got to go and have a look. I don't need any fabric and like I said I'm approaching capacity on how much I can actually store in my Alex cabinets um, but I did find a couple of pieces uh, so I got this piece of linen it's kind of a mustardy colour and it's about one and a half meters maybe one and three quarters it's not quite two meters so that might be a shirt I really am wanting to make the Jenna shirt from closet core patterns so I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and buy that pattern in July and make it up in this. I think this was, this had 15% off, so it cost me about five pounds, I think, for that piece of linen. And then I found this lovely, this is also linen, and it's kind of a creamy color, and then it's got this beige stripe running through it. Um, and I thought either a pair of trousers, maybe the, what's the trousers I've made recently, the Tasuti. I was going to say Bob, but it's not Bob, is it, because that's Stylark, Robbie, Robbie's, yeah, Robbie pants, I think, maybe a pair of those, but then I've wondered whether it might actually be a little bit sheer, it's not particularly sheer, in fact, it's not really very sheer at all. Um, so maybe one of those and actually I asked for two and a half meters and as she was cutting it out 
I was thinking to myself, should I have another two? And then I could make a little co-ord set. Um, some of the swim style pattern co-ords are really nice. So I was thinking maybe I get a bit more, but there was quite a bit left on the roll. So we'll see. If I change my mind, I could always get another little bit. Um, and that was 5.99 a meter. And then it had the 15% off. So that wasn't very pricey either. So yeah, they are my fabric purchases for the week. Not too bad little stack there. Pretty colors. Um, what else? That's about it really for what I've been doing over these four days that I've had off, but it's been really lovely. I've had a great time. So what I plan to do next is have a bit of a think about my July makes. Um, apart from wanting to try that shirt again and probably another Zadie, um, I haven't got any firm plans for July. We are going on holiday, but it's not till the end of August and it is in the UK. We're going to the Lake District. So I don't really feel like I need to you know, so a whole new holiday wardrobe or anything like that, because most of my clothes that I wear at home will be perfectly suitable for wearing on holiday as well. So yeah, I'm gonna have a bit of a think about what I want to make in July, and I might come back in a few days and just do a separate little vlog, maybe with some thoughts about what I'm gonna do. Um, I also really want to say a very big thank you to a few ladies. I've got the names written down, so bear with me a second. So I'd like to say thank you to Sarah, Colette, Kerry, Avril, Gloria and Mary who all very kindly bought me a virtual coffee um, in the last week or so. So thank you so much to you ladies. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if anyone else has enjoyed my vlogs and would like to buy me a virtual coffee, that would be spectacular. <laughs> um, I'll leave the link in the description box for you. It's never expected, but yeah, always very, very gratefully received, if that's something you want to do. Um, I think all that's left to say now really is, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video today. Please give it a like and subscribe if you don't already. And I will see you very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye now.